What's up, YouTubers? Uh, today, I wound up ordering for my Rogue King uh, a fairing with a GPS system in it and a 6x9 speaker. I'm not going to try to pronounce the name. Uh, I'll show you what it is in a minute. Um, that's that's the brand name right there. I went with this company. Uh, I had their uh, fairing with just a CD player and a 6x9, two 6x9 speakers in my uh, old Kawasaki. Um, I didn't go with the GPS unit at the time. I went a little cheaper, which I regretted immediately. Uh, so this is going to be unboxing. Well, I just got it delivered. It took, they're from Hong Kong. It took probably about two, two, two or three weeks till I, from order until I got it in. Um, it's about 1,050. I ordered it with the locking uh, connections on it. That's why it was an extra like 40 bucks for that. But if you go on their website, they have plenty of options for you. Other than this, they have 6x9, uh, 6x9 speakers with just a CD player for like 700. They have ones without a CD player, which I think is just Bluetooth in. They're about five, 600 bucks, but I wanted the GPS. So I just, it's a better unit from what I was seeing. I haven't seen a lot of videos, so I'm gonna go through the install after I unbox and show you what I got with the box. But the first thing we got um, when you unboxed it was uh, just the instructions. Um, a very simple uh, instruction, just you gotta put the, the windshield on first. I got a clear one, they didn't have um, I uh, tenant windows when I looked or the windshields uh, and then in this packaging here was after I opened it up uh, uh, Just looks like a connector to, for to set up to your computer uh, From what I heard you can connect it to Wi-Fi too and do the same thing. It uses a uh, Google Play Play Store uh, So that'll, that'll connect right to my Android phone too, but I'll connect to that. Uh, that's just to hook up to that. I'm not gonna do that. This looks like, uh, this is a user manual for the head unit. Um, it's a pretty big head unit. I didn't, I didn't, obviously didn't see it yet, but from what I've seen online, it looks pretty nice. It's, like I said, it's an Android system. Um, it looks pretty nice. And then there is, not sure what this is. This kind of looks like a microphone, to be quite honest with you, which is pretty good. I didn't know this was coming, but that's what this is. Um, yeah. Uh, it's like a microphone. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't think I'll use this for the motorcycle, but I certainly can use this for a GoPro uh, for when I do videos or when I'm out doing something else. So that's that's pretty cool. I didn't know that was coming. Uh, and then what else we get? Uh, all right, this is what I was talking about, the locking. Uh, it gives you keys. This got to be the, the hardware for that unit. I'm, I'm assuming that's what this is, is here. The brackets for that. That connects to it. A little excited about getting this. I had my real thing for a little while now. I missed not having a, s a sound system on my. But I guess what this is, this is uh, the brackets. Um, that's what they look like. Not fancy. They just, they just go on, and that's what the keys are for. They'll lock it, which is pretty nice if you go out. Everybody just knows what it's about. And then that's just a empty box. It has. Uh, looks like a fuse. Oh, just a quick connects some uh, zip ties. That's all it's in there. And then on the fairing itself, move some of the stuff. Which is pretty cool. The box isn't that big. Uh, that's what it came. That's what it looks like when it comes. This is this is the clear windshield, the five inch. Uh, I don't. The last time I think when I ordered my old one, I believe I did. Uh, might have been the 8 inch, which I just thought was too big. But you can cut these down if you really want to. But I, want, I, wanted, I wanted a 10 inch this time, but they were all sold out from what I was seeing. So that's the winch. I'm not going to unpack this. I know what it is. I don't want to scratch this up, so I'm ready to put it on. And there's the fairing. Um, let me get that unboxed. Like I said, I, I ordered uh, this company before. I was very happy with what I got. Um, if you go on through Reckless and a couple other websites, 
a decent fairing with speakers, they want, you know, $1,500, $1,800, and I, I just, I don't see why it's so expensive. It's fiberglass, which isn't that expensive to make. Uh, and that's it, it, it just, you know, they're waterproof speakers, but you can pick waterproof speakers up. They're anywhere, even on Amazon, for dirt cheap. So, I, I don't see the point spending that kind of money. I was, the sound quality is really amazing on these. That's why I didn't hesitate again. Um, these come with, I'll show you then, a port to put, plug your charger all in when you're on the go. All their head units are waterproof. They have a lot of information on their website, which uh, I'll have to put a link to it then. So, everything's the same on this one as my old one, other than the stereo system. Um, now, if you look here, it's just uh, two 6x9 speakers, which they sound really amazing. All When I get this uh, up and running, I will take a video of, of it running so everybody can see it. Uh, not quite sure how to open this up. Oh, there we go. That's, that's pretty cool. That's the plastic. I'll take that off. Maybe I'll do an updated video. After I get the install done, I'll do the video now of installing it and what it looks like. And then after it's up, then maybe I'll do an updated video of it running, what it looks like on the bike. But that's it. Um, I'll just, and there's the head unit. I mean, that's just looking at it. I don't, I, you know, there's you, GPS cards. I know you can get a different card for these. Uh, there's a volume, home, nav, and all that. It's probably a three by five, which is, I think, pretty decent, honestly for our bike um, and these are this side here is the wiring that will go to uh, your battery now it's gonna be positive negative and then the, the yellow one in there um, let me see if I can open it up for the cutting wires once I find my knife so this is uh, I'll put it in the description but this is going on my 99 Road King yeah so it's gonna be Positive, negative, and then this yellow with uh, the green going through it. That'll go to, uh, I'll probably gonna connect this to the ignition. When you turn the key on, it just igni uh, turns this on and turns it off. Uh, which might feature. And then this, I'm not sure what this is. Um, but like, all, like I said before, all this is waterproof. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. Not quite sure what all that's for. I'll have to read up. Uh, these are just, you know, quick connections. Looks like I could probably put a phone charger and all on that, which is pretty cool. There's the outlaw I was telling you about, too. Um, I didn't know this was coming either. That didn't, I don't think I saw that in the description, so. Um, not pretty pleased about that. So, the next step, I'm going to pause it here. Next step is, I'm actually going to take apart, um, this is my Road King. A little dark. I don't have my light on. It doesn't help anyway. Yeah. Um, it's my Road King. Uh, it's a '99. I only have. I forgot a pretty good price on it. Only thirteen thousand miles on it. Uh, there's the other baby. Unfortunately, that one's not mine. That is a buddy's of mine. I just just got done working on it. Uh, I love that bike. It's a 2010. Uh, that boy. That stage two on. It's really good. But mine. Right now it's completely stock. Uh, I plan on changing a lot when I, as I go. But I'm gonna pause the video here, gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm gonna start. Um, my next step is gonna be I'm gonna read the instructions. I have to get those mounts on there. They have to go in a certain way. I wanna make sure I get them on that way. And then take apart. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to take your seat off. Uh, I'm sure they come off the same way uh, on most of them. Uh, so I'm not gonna show you uh, a walk through video of that I need to get to my battery and I'll pick it back up after I have all this off and I'm ready to go with that all right the next part of the install uh, to remove the seat I actually had to remove my trunk uh, there's a, a Phillips bolt or a bolt here you got to remove for uh, the remove the seat and then if you're gonna wire it the way I'm gonna wire it you don't have to um, I'm gonna run the wires underneath this 
because the ignition is obviously here. So I want to get tie that yellow wire in here. So I want to say that was a four millimeter Allen key to remove that. Uh, to do the four three and a half, I can't remember the top of my head. And then 13 millimeter, remove this. Uh, once that's off, this should just slide straight up. And then exposes all your wires, which is what I want. Uh, I do recommend when you get to the point to hook it up, disconnect batteries before you do everything. But I gotta check which, see which one's live, uh, which is the key. And I'm gonna put the nut back, I always do, just so I don't lose them. And be careful with this too. Obviously, this slides in and out, so don't wanna lose that. Uh, and then over here, um, or right here, the locking feature I was telling you about. Uh, if you look right here, that it's only on the, this will be on the left side. It locks. They give you a key. We can lock that in. Work because this is a, just a quick connect system. Uh, but I, obviously, it's nice to be able to lock because that way no one obviously steals it. Uh, and then the next side, where's it at? To put these brackets on it's pretty simple uh, this is what the bracket looks like uh, this bracket just goes on like that uh, it's pretty it's pretty pretty simple obviously you can't put it like that you want these facing out uh, as long as you put the locking one on the right if you don't get the locking set it shouldn't matter then uh, as long as you put them on just like that on each side so I'm gonna put these on now uh, that is Da, 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 da. A five millimeter uh, Allen for these. So that's where I'm at. I'm gonna tighten these up. I'm gonna pick back up then when I'm over the there wiring, getting ready to wire it up. I'm probably gonna wire it up before I start mounting it, uh, just to make it a little easier on myself. Cause it's just a fuel right here. Um, this is a quick quick connect. Cause these windshields come off like really simple. If you need them to, this this will just come right slide right off. I'll shut anyway. Yeah, see, really quick comes off. Um, this part will obviously wire up, and then that will stay in the windshield. So put that to the side. I'll finish tying that up, and then I'll pick the video back up uh, when I get over here to uh, start wiring it up. But it should be pretty simple. Um, Got to run the wires that are here currently, and just follow them straight down. This is probably where I'll zip tie them up, and then somewhere in here, one of these wires—I don't know the color right now. Uh, I'm gonna test them, just see which one turns on with the key, and then that's what I'm gonna splice into. All right, and I'll pick back up when I'm there. All right, guys, uh, welcome back. Um, getting ready to wire this up. Um, I had this little tester. Uh, honestly, they're like an auto, any auto parts store. They're very cheap. They're like under five bucks. I hook it to the grant or the negative on the battery. Now, what I want to do, uh, the little ports behind it. You just want to put it behind there. This will glow. This will light up. There's a lot of light in there. That'll light up when it's getting power. So you see that one's not. The battery's off by or the key's off by the way. So that's an indicator. So that means that's getting power all the time. We don't want that for the fairing because it will kill your battery and that one's not getting power right now so these outside ones are not getting power currently so the next thing is we'll do we'll flip this over don't scratch I should have put paint uh, some sort of tape down um, turn the key over until you want to start it or the accessories whichever either way just to get just so when the key's on and then we'll test it again so we already know the middle one um, has power all the time. So oh, see that one lit up, the key's on. And then they both did. So these both look like they'll be good. So obviously this is gonna be, one of these is gonna be, I don't, without look, flipping over and looking. One of these is gonna be the on one and the other one's gonna be for accessories. Um, so any of the outside ones. So I'm just gonna hook it up to this. I believe this is the one I want. Uh, oh shit, Jesus, I'm out of frame. Sorry about that. Uh, so it's obviously this one and that one. Uh, it's on and accessories. It's one of them. I believe this is the on one. It does. I don't believe it matters for the accessories are on. Once it's on, all the accessories will kick on anyway. It's just if you have the accessories on, just just that, it'll just turn whatever you have on to that. So with that being said, um, 
they gave us splicers and all with it. So, like I said, this yellow wire here, this yellow and green, I believe it is. I'm going to connect that to there. Uh, give me one second, I'll show you. Now the pack they give you for splicing them, they give you two. Um, it's gotta be up to your, your discretion of what you need. Uh, that one's a wider one, which that wire is pretty thick. And then there's a thinner one. I don't think I'm gonna go with this one due to the fact that wire on there is pretty thick. So what, like all you gotta wanna do, you'll see, notice that that needs to be punched out. Um, Get, any screw, get a screwdriver or something and just punch it out. Um, which is that simple. Um, I'm going to turn this back off, which, in doing so, you should be able to retest it and nothing's getting lit up, which means it's not on and get, not getting power, which is what I want. So, um, I'm going to put the yellow one through first. I don't, I don't think this step matters. I mean, if you guys watching this video know, you know, please let me know. I'm not an expert. I'm not trying to say I am. And then you want to put that, that piece right there onto the wire. So. Pull it out. Um, push that in. Might take a little bit of finagling. You can push that down or get a pair of, uh, you don't know those are pliers. I usually get a pair of pliers, just makes it life, 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 easier, life easier for me. So. Uh, there, that's down. That's, that's the hardest part of the wiring unit. And then clip this down. That's it. So now, uh, like I said, this wire, that'll go positive and negative, hook them up. I'm gonna run, oh, I'm really all over this camera. Sorry about that. So positive and negative then. Uh, red's obviously positive. The blue will be the negative one. I'm gonna run these up with all the wiring up here that's coming up right here. It goes up to the up front. Uh, and then I'll zip tight together. So. My next step, I'm gonna hook that up to the positive and negative, and then neatly go up there. I'll show you where how neat it is when it's done. But well, that's pretty simple. It's just disconnect it the battery, hook up to the battery, and the wiring is done. And then it's just a these. If you, if you have a windshield on, it should just connect right to your uh, hardware that you had on there. So that'll just slip right over everything else. So no other hardware is needed for this. They gave you extra these plastic. I don't know if they're called to call them washers or spacers. That are in here, these they give you extra in the kit. So, for some reason, if these are bad, replace them. I'm not going to, they seem fine right now. This bike was hardly ever used. Right, I'll pick back up when I'm at that step. All right, so we're back at it. Uh, I wound up zip tying this up to make it look a little neater. Obviously, like I said, positive. Uh, this is just what I did. You guys don't have to do this. I left a little extra here, you guys should see. There's like a little slot down here. It's gonna be nice to see. That's the fuse. If for some reason it would blow, uh, I could have put that up here a little higher, but it would have been out of my way and more of a nuisance if I needed to get to it. So I just left that a little extra and just tuck it down there. And from there, this one up. Made it look pretty best I can. Um, I left a little bit of hang. This. That'll end here, and then it'll stick out about that far, which. I'm thinking it should be plenty enough. I'm probably going to put the fairing on before I uh, seal all this up just to make sure that's enough. Because if it's, maybe if it's too much, I'll pull it down a little bit. And if it's obviously not enough, I can pull it up. But that's where we're at. Uh, now it's going to be time to 
got the fairing on. Once the fairing's on, uh, everything looks all right with the wiring. We'll start buttoning all this back up. Uh, as you can see, I noticed this too, this bib, this plastic piece. This goes on like that uh, up there. It connects to this. It's one of falling off. Um, just something to look out for you when you guys do it. Um, the only thing I wish I would have did, I was pretty careful uh, putting some paint, uh, some like painter's tape down on the tank around this. Um, I didn't bump it, so it should pretty much stayed stationary. But obviously, you, you want to be cautious because obviously you don't want to scratch, uh, put a good scratch or something like this. That's where we're at. I'll pick back up. I'm probably going to do a dry fit first to make sure that goes on without no hitches before I try to make a, a full out of myself. And, oh, and this is the locking thing I was talking about. I don't know if I did show this or not, but the key goes in. They give you two keys. It locks. The key comes out. Um, the key, the key, if you have it unlocked, the key will not come out, as you can see. Um, so that's something to keep it, your mind on. But I'm going to keep it unlocked right now, obviously. Um, put it on, and then I'm going to do a dry fit first. And if that goes according to plan, I'll pick it back up to show you how easy it goes on. Lock it up. And then that install is done, obviously. A uh, couple things. I don't like that hole. I just noticed that there's a hole right there. I don't know what that's about. Uh, probably shouldn't. Be, probably not too concerning. Um, and the install is done. I mean, there's got to be updating you got to do for that. I believe if you connect to Wi-Fi, it'll update. You can download maps. It has 16 gigs it can hold. But I know you can buy a card. I don't know. I have to read more into it. Uh, you can buy a card. I don't know if it's a memory card or a map card, but 16 gigs is enough. Uh, I'm just gonna download. Why? I'm just gonna download PA right now. Uh, if I travel out of state, I'm almost dead certain this can connect to your phone. Um, but I'll do an up I'm gonna do an updated video when I have that this updated and I kind of figure it out for like a week or so. Um, again, if you guys like what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff to my Road King. This is the first step. This is the most important to me. Uh, I, I like having music going when I go on long rides and you know GPS would be nice because if it gets lost somewhere or if you just want to go you know a long distance trip to a nice spot you, you don't have to worry about dealing with that plus I want to say that that head unit might be Bluetooth too which is a nice feature but like I said we're gonna do a dry fit first put that on oh we have to do a windshield jet too I'll show you how to do that it's very simple um, do a dry fit and then we'll pick back up from there. Uh, again, if you guys like what I'm doing, you know, please like and like and subscribe. Uh, just let everybody know what I'm doing. Just to get the support out there. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I don't have that many followers. I'm do, I do everything on my own budget for my for what I want to do. If you guys have suggestions, uh, if you have a road king, if something, maybe I'm not an expert mechanic, but I can I know my way around. If you have suggestions of stuff you want to see done or questions, you know, hit me up. If I don't have the answers. Uh, if you go into my buddy's YouTube channel, uh, Stupid Fast, uh, his name's John. He, uh, he's a much better mechanic than I am. Look him up, he's always doing fun stuff. Big shout out to John, he's always been a good help, a good support of me and what I do. Uh, so hit him up too. Uh, he's a good dude and he has a lot of nice projects going. But like I said, we'll stop here and pick it back up. All right guys, so I ran into a problem apparently. Uh, wasn't quite sure this is an issue. If you uh, look there, it's hitting. I went to put it on, which I'm glad I decided to do that. That is hitting the tack. Um, now, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there. Um, I think for right now, I'm actually going to wind up removing this. This is just turn signals and tells me if I'm in neutral. Um, but I think I'm, right now, I think I'm going to try to remove this, see if it'll fit on. And I, I might contact the company. I'm not sure if there's longer brackets that maybe they just didn't give me but everything does it does go right up it does line up but what i'm also afraid of is how get much of a gap this is if that's going to line up so i think for now uh i'm gonna pause what i'm doing uh i'll upload this video this is pretty much the installation and other than a couple you do put the windshield line just gotta loosen these bolts up and put it on but I'm gonna take that off. Uh, see where I'm at. I'll do an updated video once I get this figured out. But I want to get this video online just for anybody to kind of figure out what they want to do. But I'm gonna reach out to definitely reach out to the company. But I have a funny feeling this might have to come off. I know they make digital 
uh, tax and all that go inside here, which I thought about getting them anyway, so this, this might be extra motivation. I'll have to go log on and see where I can get them at. All right, like again, like I said again, if you like what you saw, please you know like and subscribe. All right, real quick update before I upload this video. Uh, as I suspected, that tack was in the way. Um, it lines up without it. That's something for you guys to keep in mind. Uh, I believe that's probably only for the GPS unit because it is wider. See the player comes down here and it'll have more room to play with. So that's just something to keep in mind if you don't want to get rid of that. Uh, it's just quick connects on it, and there's a couple wires inside it. You just, uh, you loosen these bolts up right here, all the way around. See a lot of, a lot of them are quick connects on this bike. I don't know if that's for all of them. Uh, you loosen these up, pull it all out. I was planning on getting electronic stuff anyway, so I'm not super bummed about it, but the only thing that was for for me was turn signals and to see if I was in neutral. But that is on that also. When you flip it over, the turn signals are on there, so it's neutral. So. I'm not super bummed about that. I wanted this particular one uh, just because it has a GPS unit and it's a much nicer head unit. So I'm not, I'm not over bummed about it. Like I said, uh, I, if I had to do a little modification, I was, I was fine with that. But that's just something to keep in mind. If you don't want to get rid of that, obviously this is not the one for you for a 99 anyway. I don't know, I don't know what years have them and don't have them. Um, I don't know when they stopped putting those on there or anything like that. So, like I said, just keep that in mind, but I'm happy with it. Uh, I don't care about that. I'm not going to miss it in the slightest. Eventually, I'm probably going to go on tonight. As you can see, it's it's raining in PA again, which is a freaking shock. Um, I'm probably going to wind. There is electronic stuff you can get for this. Uh, hooks up to all that. I'm going to see how much. And I think there is one for the gas, too. So, I'm probably going to look into all that. Um, like I said, this only has 13,000 miles on it. And I want to keep it for a while. Like I want to get, I'm gonna start getting rid of some of this chrome. I'm gonna get. I, this is st all stock, obviously. I'm gonna put new exhaust on. But I'm gonna go to matte black. But that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I may drop the link uh, for where this is at in the comments, uh, or I just might drop the link in where to go for them in general. Uh, and you can look on there with your bike and what year, and they'll point you in the right direction. But I, I do plan on contacting the company anyway because that is a disappointment they should at least know that the so no one gets it and spends a thousand dollars and then they can't use it but like i said guys if you like the videos uh please like and subscribe and i'll keep them going as you know projects come along that i want to do uh,